New video released today reveals the tense interactions between a Doniana County Sheriff's deputy and a man in Chaparral. Good evening, I'm John Purvis. The deputy eventually shot and killed the man who's been identified as 37-year-old Adrian Jose Guzman. The sheriff has since come out in support of the deputy's deadly actions. CBS 4 at 530's Harrison Parker joins us live in the studio to let you know what else Sheriff Kim Stewart had to say about the confrontation. That's right, that body cam footage shows the moments leading up to that shooting involving a sheriff's deputy in Chaparral on Monday. Now, this includes the final moments when the suspect wielded the officer's taser. Nothing! Nothing now! Oh, nothing! No. I said nothing! I said nothing! What you just saw was a Doña Ana County Sheriff's deputy demanding Adrian Jose Guzman drop the taser he had taken from the officer. Seconds later, the sheriff's deputy shot and killed Guzman. Doña Ana County Sheriff Kim Stewart said he was known to the officer and the department beforehand. Uh, this is his criminal arrest history right here. So we want to show you that to show that we have certainly had prior contact with this individual. Guzman's record included 35 arrests for crimes including resisting arrest, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, battery, and disorderly conduct. The newly released footage shows Guzman repeatedly resisting arrest after being stopped in relation to a burglary. Yes, this guy, we, caught, we, we saw him stealing stuff from our house. Where he's wearing some raggedy clothes, he has a shirt open, brown coat, Looks oily. He's got a, a, a laptop and everything. The deputy is seen struggling to detain Guzman, first pinning him to the ground and later tasing him. But Guzman still managed to get free and get the stun gun from the officer. While the investigation is with an officer involved task force taking over the case, Sheriff Stewart defended the deputy involved and addressed him directly. My apologies, to, uh, deputy, to you and your family for this blatant misrepresentation of your actions, and I hope today we have clarified it. Thank you for coming. Well, there are many questions we are asking of the county sheriff's office as the investigation unfolds, but Sheriff Stewart is clearly showing she stands behind how her deputy handled this case. We'll keep you posted as we learn more. Reporting from the studio, Harrison Parker, CBS 4 at 530.